Hey you guys, um, this is Michaela with uh, Sarah. We're going to try out um, a yoga class online. So um, grab out your mats, a block if you have one, and then we'll start on our backs in Supta um, So Supta Bada, feet together, knees wide. You can bring your arms out alongside your body. And then we'll start with three rounds of open mouth exhales. So let all the air out right here. Take a deep breath and fill up. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale. Let it go. Last one, big breath in. Exhale completely. And then right here, tuning into your ujjayi breath. So inhale draws in through the nose, pause at the top, and then exhale. And then just start to breathe deep. Notice how long your inhales are. Notice how long your exhales are. If at any point in this class your breath seems labored or shallow, bring the inhales in through the nose once again, but then come back to that open mouth exhale. We'll be here for a few rounds of breath. Notice how your shoulder blades are starting to surrender and sink into the mat. Gravity is pushing down on your knees to open up your hips. So let's take one more big breath in here. And then slowly draw your knees into your chest on your exhale. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Lift your forehead up to touch your knees. And then we'll bring our legs straight up to the sky. Arms will come along our side body here. So starting to fire up the core um, for this class. Feet are flexed. Spread your toes apart. Palms down on the mat. Arms long. Let's take a big breath in. Spine lengthens out. On your exhale, start to lower your heels down so they hover off the earth. Draw your low belly in. Squeeze your inner thighs. Inhale, slowly lift them back up. Slow and controlled, low belly draws in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift them up towards the sky. Keep your feet flexed. Move with your breath here. So lowering slowly in control, draw your low belly in, exhale, inhale, lift them back up towards the sky. If you notice there's any pain in your lower back, option to bend your knees a little bit here. All right, so let's do a few more rounds. Just powering up our core, starting to warm up our body and our breath. Nice, one more, big exhale, lower. Inhale, lift it back up to the side. Finish strong. Draw your knees into your chest. Rock side to side here. Little back and forth movements. Pressing on your lower back. Massaging out your spine. Nice. And then we'll lift our legs straight back up towards the sky. This time, hands behind your ears. Light on your fingertips to the back of your head. The elbows will stay wide this entire time. On your next inhale, Lengthen your spine, then exhale, we'll crunch to center, hold to your gaze towards your toes. Take a big breath and fill up. On your exhale, just your right leg lowers down, squeeze your inner thighs together, and then we'll switch right leg up, left leg down. Slowly lowering, feet are flexed, extend, gaze towards your toes. Keep working the single leg lifts here. Again, options, we can drop um, our shoulder blades and head down on the mat, a little less intensity there. Also, you can bend deep into your knees just to release any tension in the low back. Let's finish strong for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Draw your knees into your chest on one nice rock side to side and back and forth. And then we'll rock the length of our mat, gain a little momentum, and we'll find our way to a downward facing dog when you're ready. So you can simply step or jump back. 
hips lift high, and then find your movement here in downward facing dog. So pedaling out your feet, shaking your hips, connecting to your ujjayi breath here. If your forearms feel a little tight, maybe wrists need some love, a block underneath, underneath each of your hands here. Nice, and then we'll come into stillness. Let's take a big breath in. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, press your chest back. One more big inhale. Let it all go, exhale. Next inhale, come up to your tiptoes. Gaze looks towards your thighs. On your exhale, roll into high plank. Shoulders step over your wrists. Gaze towards the top of your mat. Now draw your low belly in. Let's take a big inhale, lengthen your spine. Downward facing dog, slow exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, tiptoes, we'll flow this out. Exhale, high plank and hold. Big breath in, lengthen, squeeze your glutes. Downward facing dog, exhale, one more. Inhale, tiptoes, lift even higher. Exhale to high plank. Now listen here, one inhale. Lower slowly on your exhale. Elbows squeeze your sides. Untuck your toes. Press into the tops of your feet. Cobra pose. Inhale, chin and chest. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, release down. Two more. Cobra. Breathe in. Lift. Squeeze. Lifting a little higher. Exhale, release down. Last one. Cobra pose. Breathe in. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes on your inhale. High plank on your exhale, press up, hold here, squeeze, round through your shoulders. Stay for an inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Settle in here. Let's take a big breath in, look towards the top of your mat. Tiptoe on your exhale to a halfway lift. Spine lengthens out, low belly draws in. Exhale, forward fold, bend into your knees, head is heavy. Rise up, reach tall, Urva Hastasana. Gaze towards your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your sides, palms forward, Tadasana. Lift your shoulders up to, towards your ears, take an inhale. Roll it back and down on our exhale. Warm up series, sun salutation A. Let's inhale, reach up, look up. Forward fold slowly, take your time here, bend into your knees, head is heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out, gaze forward, chaturanga, option to step or jump back, hold your low plank, elbows squeeze into your side. Up dog, inhale, lift your heart, untuck your toes. Exhale for downward facing dog, hips up. Three rounds of breath in between, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Breathe in. And out. Last one, big breath in. Let it all go. Inhale to the top of your mat, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up, reach tall, Urva Hastasana, breathe in. Tadasana, hands at your side, exhale again. Inhale, reach up, look up. Forward fold slowly, exhale it all out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, step or jump back. Hold your low plank, sweet. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, three rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Last one, big inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale, top of your mat, halfway. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Rise up, Urva, look up. Tadasana, exhale. Again, breathe in, up. Lower, exhale. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, step or jump back. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Three rounds of breath, inhale. Exhale, breathe in, and out. Last one, inhale, 
Full exhale. Inhale, top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up, reach tall. Inhale, Urdhva. Hands at your side. Exhale. Take a moment here. Feel your feet ground into your mat. All right, so we'll start with a sun B, coming to chair pose. So bend your knees, reach your arms up overhead, and then let's take some time here just to feel ourselves in this pose. So ground through your feet, squeeze your knees and thighs together. If you have low back pain, drawing your feet hip width distance apart, still sinking your hips pretty deep. Shoulders drop back, and then let's tune into our breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in, sink a little deeper. And exhale. One more big breath in. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, bring it back. Up dog, inhale, lift. Down dog, hips high. On your same exhale, right foot steps forward. Warrior one, arms extend up overhead. Back foot to about 11 o'clock here, sinking deep into our knee. Feel your left hip start to track forward as you bend. Right, shoulders drop back, pinkies turn in slightly towards each other. Let's inhale, reach a little higher. On your exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga, back foot steps back, lower and hold. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Same exhale, left foot forward. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Let's hold this one, sink and deep. Drop your shoulders down, gaze off the tip of your nose. One more inhale, fill up. Exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga, step back. Lower, squeeze. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Three rounds of breath, deep in here. Find your way into a little stillness. The breath is heavy. Let's take one more inhale together. Exhale completely. Top of your mat, halfway lift. One breath per movement, forward fold. Chair pose, sink your hips, arms reach high. Stand up, arms at your side, Tadasana. Again, sun B, chair, breathe in, Utkatasana. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, step or jump back. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out right away. Right foot forward, inhale for one. Exhale, Chaturanga, hands down and float. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out, left foot. Warrior one. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Last one. Big inhale. Let it all go. Inhale, top of your mat. Length it out. Exhale, pull forward. Chair pose, sink your hips. Standing at attention, exhale one more time through. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, step or drop. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale, right foot forward. Here we go, warrior one. Breathe in, reach. Chaturanga, bring it down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, left foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Let's come into a hero's pose, drop to your knees, feet at your sides, maybe sinking onto a block, bolster, pillow, close your eyes. Reconnect with your breath here. And just keep in mind, um, open mouth exhales are always welcome. Just to get rid of any stale breath, any stale energy. All right, so then we'll find our way to a tabletop position. Hands down, shoulders over wrists, knees over hips. Let's come to a cow pose. Breathe in, look up. Exhale for cat. Round your back. One more time. Inhale, cow. 
exhale, cat. All right, so then moving back into a little core work, one of my favorite core moves here, tucking your toes, coming into floating tabletop. So we round through our shoulders, squeeze your inner thighs together as knees float. The gaze stays a few inches in front of your fingertips, so neck is long. Nice, right, breathing in deep here. Using your fingers for a little support, grip into each fingertip. Let's take one more inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Pedal out your feet, reconnect to your downward facing dog. Nice, right, and then we'll lift our right leg just up hip height. Foot is flexed, toes stay pointed down. See if you can start to drop your left heel down towards the mat. We'll take one more inhale, big breath in. Right knee, right elbow on your exhale. A gentle tap, shoulders over wrists. Now slowly kick it back, use your core, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, lift it a little bit higher, squeeze. Kick it on back one more time. Right knee, right armpit, lift it up high, hold it here, gaze forward. Kick it back, inhale. Big step forward, low runner's lunge. Okay, so find a little movement here in your low runner's lunge. Rocking side to side, back and forth. Nice. And then we'll come to a revolved low runner's lunge. Left hand grounds to the mat or a block. Right hand lifts up towards the sky, twist. See if you can bring your gaze up towards the sky. We'll take one more inhale here. Exhale, hand down. Nice. Lighten up on your fingertips. Keep your chest low, but let's airplane our arms to the back of the room. Shoulder blades squeeze together, palms pointing down. So we're pressing deeply into our right foot. Lift your chest just a little bit higher. We'll take one more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Sweep your arms up. Anjay and Asana, crescent lunge. Bend in deep into your knee. Gaze off the tip of your nose. Option to drop down to your left knee and untuck your toes here. Shoulders relax. Deepen your breath. And notice how strong your back leg feels in this posture. Lift your left heel high. Let's take an inhale, lift your chest up. Chaturanga on your exhale, hand down. Optional leg lift. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. We'll add on to the right side. Right leg up, breathe in. Right knee, right elbow, exhale, squeeze. Kick it back, inhale. Right knee, right tricep. Kick it back, inhale, listen here. Step forward, low runner's lunge. Twist, the right hand high, breathe in. Exhale, hand down. Rise up, crescent lunge, inhale, reach tall. Warrior two on our exhale, we open up. So make some adjustments in your stance here. Lengthen out your stance, back toes can be parallel with the mat if you'd like and then gaze over your right hand. Can you sink deeper into your knee? One more round of breath, breathe in, fill up. Exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga. Again, leg might stay lifted as you flow, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, hips high. Last time we'll add on, lift your right leg up, breathe in. Right knee, right elbow, only time here. Kick it on back. Big step forward, low runner's lunge. Twist, right hand high, inhale. Exhale, hand down. Crescent lunge, Anjay and Asana, inhale, rise. Warrior two, exhale to open. Inhale, reverse warrior, tip back and hold. So we reach straight up to the sky and then tip towards the back of the room. And bending deep into our right knee, Hold here for a few rounds of breath. One more inhale, fill up, reach higher. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga, flow. Up dog, inhale, lift your chest. Down dog, on your exhale, let's drop to our knees, take a child's pose for a moment. Knees as wide as your mat, big toes to touch. Sink your third eye center down on the mat. Connect back to your breath. Bring your awareness there.
When you're ready, we'll come to downward facing dog. Hips will come to the sky, taking your time, finding movement here. Next, inhale, left leg lifts up, hip height. So once again, hip height, um, hips are square down. Drop your right heel down towards the mat. Doesn't need to touch the floor, but just lengthening the right leg. Let's take one more inhale. Uh, left knee, excuse me, left elbow, exhale. Kick it back slowly, breathe in. Left knee, left tricep, lift it high, squeeze. Kick it back one more time, lift it higher, left knee, left armpit, hold it here. Kick it on back. Big step forward, low runner's lunge. Finding movement, maybe dropping to your knee, rolling onto the pinky toe side of your foot. Just starting to work a little deeper into the hips, warming upper body. And then we'll come back to our low runner's lunge. Right hand grounds into the mat. Left hand lifts high. Gaze up towards your thumb. Open your chest. Shoulders stack over each other. Press deeply into your left foot. One more inhale. Reach. Exhale. Hand down. Lengthen out your spine. Take an inhale. Stay low. Airplane your arms on your exhale. Chest down. We're hovering our core over our thigh. Legs working super hard. Inner thighs squeezing together. One more breath in. Stay on your exhale, sweep up, crescent lunge, Anji and Asana. Make any little adjustments you need here. Again, dropping to the back knee, untucking your toes is there for you. Let's take one more inhale. Exhale for Chaturanga. Flow it out strong, elbows into your side body. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out, lift your hips high. Again, we'll continue to add on to the side, left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left elbow, exhale. Kick it back, reach high. Left knee, left tricep, squeeze, gaze forward. Kick it back, we'll step up on our exhale. Left hand high for the twist, breathe in. Exhale, hand down. Crescent lunge, rise up, reach tall, breathe in. Warrior two, open, sink deep. Left knee starts to press towards the left side of your mat. Drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Gaze over your left fingertips. One more big breath and fill your lungs. Chaturanga, cartwheel your hands down, flow it up. Up dog, breathe in, lift your hearts. Downward facing dog, exhale. Last time we'll add on. Left leg high, inhale. Left knee, left elbow, squeeze it. Kick it on back. Big step forward. Twist, inhale, reach your left hand high. Exhale, hand down, crescent lunge, breathe in, reach tall. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, tip it on back and hold here. Left ribs are starting to pull away from your hips, just creating more length in your side body. Let's take one more inhale. Hands down, chaturanga on your exhale, flow. Up dog, breathe in, lift your hearts. Downward facing dog, exhale, drop to your knees, child's pose once again. Reconnect back to your breath here. And then we'll come back to downward facing dog. So putting the right and left side together will flow one breath per movement. Let's take a big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One more, breathe in. Let it all go. Right leg high, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale, squeeze and hold. Kick it on back, we'll step forward right away on our exhale. Right hand high, twist, breathe in. Exhale, hand down. Crescent, inhale, rise tall. Warrior two to open. 
Inhale, reverse, tip it back. Exhale, chaturanga, hands to the mat, float. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left elbow. Kick it back. Exhale, step forward, low runners. Left hand up, breathe in. Exhale, down. Rise up, crescent, inhale. Warrior two, open. Inhale, reverse, hip. Chaturanga, hands down, flow out strong. Up dog, breathe in, lift up. Down dog, exhale, three rounds of breath here, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Breathe in. And out. Last one, big breath in. Let it all go. Right leg high, last time. Left, right knee, right elbow. Kick it back. Step forward, low runner's lunge. Twist, right hand up, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Rise up tall, breathe in. Warrior two, open. Inhale, reverse. Chaturanga, hands down. Maybe you press back to down dog here, but we'll lift up. Inhale, up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg high. Here we go. Left knee, left elbow. Kick it back. Big step forward. Twist, left hand up. Exhale, bring it down. Rise up tall. Inhale. Warrior two, open. Reverse, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe it all up. Up dog. Downward facing dog, hips high. Pause and breathe here. Okay, right, so let's take a big breath in. Exhale completely. On your inhale, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. Rise up, reach tall, Urdhva Hastasana. Draw your hands to heart center on your exhale. Stay here for a couple moments, breathing in deep and breathing out deeply. Okay, so let's bring our arms to our sides for Tadasana. Let's inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, look up, reach up. On your exhale, forward fold slowly. Halfway lift, breathe in, and then we'll toe heel our feet wide apart, coming into yogi squat. So sinking your hips down, hands draw to heart center, open up through your collarbone. So option to sink onto a block, um, a pillow, whatever you're working with at home here. But weight into our heels, gaze forward. An active hip opener here. And then we'll all try crow pose. So hands down to the mat. Crow jump back, Sarah, maybe. Possibly working the crow jump back. So in crow pose, gaze forward, round through your shoulders. You can start by lifting up one foot and then the other, playing around with balance. And then maybe you come into crow and hold. Down dog hands, grip into your fingertips. Now, if this feels comfortable to you, we can start to work for our crow jump back. We'll take an inhale, round through our shoulders. On your exhale, butt up, chest down, we land in low plank. So let's take a big breath and fill up. Crow, jump back, exhale, fold. Nice, up dog, breathe in, down dog, breathe out. A few rounds of breath here. Nice, so let's take an inhale and an exhale. Next breath in, right leg lifts up high, inhale. Big step forward. We'll rise up, warrior one. Arms reach high, left hip pulls forward. Sink in deep here. Relax your shoulders. Take one more inhale, fill up. Warrior two on our exhale, open up. And just your stance, a little longer than warrior one. Gaze still over your front fingertips. Nice, now let's straighten our right leg, take an inhale. Triangle pose on your exhale, tip forward, hand down to a shin, your block, the mat, fingertips up high. 
switch your gaze so it's looking towards your left thumb just to further the twist here. Right kneecap lifting up towards your quad, right toes are light. Now we'll take one more inhale, lengthen out. On your exhale, bring your left hand down. Warrior one feet, we'll hop our left foot in a few inches, keep your right leg straight. Revolve triangle, left hand down to a block at any height, right fingertips up high. So working into the IT band, imagine someone's pulling the crown of your head forward and drawing your hips back. Stacking shoulders over each other will all look a little differently here in Revolve Triangle. One more inhale, fill up. Exhale, bring your right hand down once again. Come back to warrior two feet, so hop your left foot back. Right hand to the inside of your right foot, extended side angle, left fingertips reach forward, bicep will hover over your left ear. You have the option to rest your forearm lightly on your thigh, but letting your core and your legs do most of the work here. A few more rounds of breath. One more inhale. Exhale, hand down, drop to your left knee, untuck your toes. Rise up to prayer, chest lifts high. Revolve to low lunge. We take it, inhale, lengthen your spine, hips press forward. Exhale, twist towards the left, left elbow towards your thigh. We have the option to stay here, or you can tuck your left toes, knee will flow over here for a few rounds of breath. Gaze draws over your right shoulder. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, bring your hands down. Inhale, step your right foot back, high plank position. Three tricep push-ups together. Option to lower to your knees and do tricep push-ups from here. Let's take it. Inhale, lower halfway, exhale. Inhale, up, lower, exhale. Inhale, up, lower, hold it here. Up dog, breathe in, lift. Downward facing dog, exhale. We'll come to child's pose, drop to your knees. Big toes touch once again. Rock your forehead side to side here, massaging out your third eye center. And just bring awareness to your breath. Notice, is your breath choppy or labored? And if so, take the exhale through the mouth. Back to downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Sink in, heels start to melt towards the mats, chest pressing towards your thighs. Left leg lifts high, big breath in. Warrior one will step up. Inhale as you rise. So moving to the left side, sinking in deep here. Hip pulls forward, drop your shoulders down and away from your ears. One more big breath in. Warrior two on your exhale, open up, sink in deep. So we've been here before, right? Left knee opens up, sinking in deep. Draw your low belly in. We'll start to straighten our left leg. Take it, inhale. Exhale, tip forward, trikonasana, coming into triangle pose. Hand down to a block, to your mat, but see if you can start to stack your shoulders over each other. Again, block at any height here. Honor your body, honor your practice where you're at. Use the props when needed. One more inhale. Exhale, hand down, revolve triangle on this side. Hop your right foot in a few inches, warrior one leg. Straighten left leg, left arm up towards the sky for the twist. Gaze starts to look up towards your left thumb. If you notice your breath is super choppy here, keep your gaze towards your left big toe. Big 
One more inhale. Exhale, hand down. Warrior two legs. Step your right foot back. Uh, excuse me, extended side angle. Right arm hovers over your bicep. Reach your fingertips towards the front of your mat. Shoulders stack, opening through the right side body. Really reach your fingertips, bring some energy there. One more inhale. Exhale, hand down. Drop to your right knee, untuck your toes. Hands to heart center, rise up. We'll take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist towards the left, a low revolved lunge. Again, staying here or tucking your right toes, float your knee, moving into the twist a little deeper, gaze over, bow your left shoulder. Squeeze your right hamstring and glute. One more inhale, hands down on your exhale. Left foot will step back, breathe in, lengthen your spine, lower for chaturanga on your exhale. Up dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, breathe out, drop to your knees, child's pose. Come up toward the tabletop position. Um, we'll move into some inversions from here. So working into supported headstand. So if you're comfortable, you can adjust your mat towards a wall. Just make sure nothing is beside you that if you do end up falling out of the pose, you're not going to hurt yourself or anyone around you. Um, so here in supported headstand, we'll interlace our fingertips and then we're going to draw the pinky that is sticking out underneath. So when you plant your hands on the mat, you have a nice firm and flat surface. So go ahead, plant your hands on the mat, interlacing fingers, tuck your pinky in. Notice and ask yourself, are your shoulders stacked under your elbows? And if so, then you're going to place the crown of your head down on your mat. Messy buns, you might have to move out of the way. And then from here, you'll press into your forearms, tuck your toes, start to walk your toes in. Now you have the option, if you do have the core strength, to start to pipe your legs up into handstand. Otherwise, you can tuck one leg in and then the other, bringing your hips over your shoulders, and then maybe extending your legs out long. Draw your core and squeeze your glutes. Take a few rounds of breath. You can play around with leg variations, maybe coming into stag legs, bending your knees, and then alternating. Some of you even might find eagle pose legs. Soup to bada, options are endless here. Take a few more rounds of breath. Let's take one more inhale. See if you can slowly pipe your legs down on your exhale. Draw your low belly in, hips over shoulders, slowly, slowly. Nice, we'll come into a rabbit pose variation. Arms at your side, grab your heels, forehead down to the mat. And then we'll come up towards the tabletop position. Tuck your toes, high plank. Last little bit of work here before we cool down. Let's take a big inhale. On my slow count, we lower to our bellies. For five, four, three, hold it at two, gaze forward, all the way down on one. Nice. Lift your feet up, rock your legs side to side. And for our hip opener today, we'll be coming into a half frog pose. So we'll cactus our arms, elbows in line with your shoulders. Draw your left knee up towards your left elbow. Foot is flexed, pointing towards the left side of the room. And then option to bring your gaze the same way as your knee, or you can twist a little deeper here. And we'll hold this for a few rounds of breath.
See if you can quiet the mind by bringing awareness to each inhale you take and to your exhales. We're here for just a few more rounds. And then we'll slowly prop ourselves up onto our forearms. Keep your left knee where it's at. So from here, moving into a supine twist. Right arm will reach for your left knee. And then open your left arm over, rolling into supine twist. If shoulder blades are popping off the earth here, let it be. Gaze opposite direction of your knee. Few rounds of breath here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, slowly roll back onto your belly. Opposite side, half frog. Draw your hands to cactus one more time. Right knee will lift up. Foot is flexed. And then gaze opposite direction of your knee. Left leg is long on the mat, toes are untucked. Few more rounds of breath on this side. You're ready, taking your time, you'll prop yourself back up to your forearms. This time, your left hand will reach towards your right side of your mat. Supine twist, open up. So supine twist is really great for low back and spine strengtheners. Um, also great to release any tension or stress there. Take one more inhale, rolling all the way onto your back here. So adjust yourself so you can come back onto your mat. We'll come into Supta Baddha, just how we started the class. Draw your feet together, knees wide. Bring one hand to your heart, the opposite to your belly. And then we'll come into a happy baby pose, grabbing the insides of your feet. Option to grab two piece fingers around your big toes as well. Drawing your lower back on the mat and stay in stillness here for a moment. And then when you're ready, if you want, you can straighten one leg long, rock a little from side to side, and then the opposite, just playing around here in your happy baby pose. And eventually, we'll draw our knees into our chest. 
Arms will wrap around your shins. Now lift your forehead up to touch your knees. One more inhale. On your exhale, extend long for a final and best pose of the practice coming into Shavasana or Corpse Pose. Allow yourself this time, surrendering the back of your head into the mat. Let's take one more big inhale. And relax, exhale. Breath in and exhale. Stretch your arms up overhead, point your toes, full body stretch. And gently placing your feet on your mat. We'll roll onto the right side of our body, just letting your head rest in our arm. And then we'll come up to Sukhasana, our seated easy pose. Hands at heart center and eyes can remain closed. We'll end this practice uh, with one more round of breath together. So let's take a big inhale. And open mouth exhale. Thumb knuckles to your forehead, third eye center. From my heart to yours, namaste, bowing forward. Thank you guys so much. Um, keep updated with us on our YouTube and Facebook. Um, and thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks.